Eight-year-old Christian squinted his eyes as he looked up to catch his first glimpse of the plane in the Papua New Guinea sky. Papa, is that it? He said. Yes, son, that's the mission plane that will take us to our mission outpost, Papa answered. The plane circled around the small runway at the airport one last time before landing and taxiing up to where Christian and his family were waiting. Hello there, came the friendly voice of the pilot as he walked up to greet everyone. We need to get going quickly. There's a storm heading this way and we don't want to get caught in it. Christian grabbed his backpack. The door's on the other side, said the pilot. Go ahead and get in. Christian walked around the plane looking at the big propeller at the front and the three small wheels underneath. Then he and his two sisters climbed in. He'd flown on big planes before, but he'd never been on one this small. He found a window seat right behind the pilot, the perfect spot. The engine started and Christian and his family bumped down the runway. Before he knew it, they were in the sky. Looking out the window, all Christian could see were trees, trees, and more trees. Are there any people down there, he thought? I don't see any houses or streets or neighborhoods like the ones in the United States. Soon, the mission plane circled a small grass airstrip in the middle of the trees. With a bump, it landed and quickly came to a stop at the end of the runway. Christian picked up his backpack and followed the others down a path to a river, where he saw a boat with the mission logo on the side. Once all the family's bags were loaded up, the engine started and they were on their way down the river, going fast. There was so much to see. There were egrets gracefully flying by, people paddling in long dugout canoes, and children waving from the banks. The people wore different clothes than what Christian had seen back home. They seemed very friendly as they smiled and waved. He decided he liked this new place. Look! Papa said. There's the mission outpost. There's our new home. The boat followed a bend in the river and the motor slowed down. On the bank, people stood ready to welcome them with big happy smiles. The boat pulled over to them. When the engine stopped, Christian heard them singing. We are happy today. We are happy today. We are happy to have you here. He couldn't stop smiling. As soon as the song ended, he was the first to climb out. As he walked down the long line of waiting people, he shook hands with each person, becoming even more excited by the large number of kids. He knew that he was going to love his new home. Please pray for missionaries like Christian, who leave everything they know and travel far to follow God's call. Thank you for your mission offering that helps spread the gospel in Papua New Guinea and around the world.